How to escape from a sinking car. In order to survive in an extreme situation, you'd better make sure you know what to do in advance. After all, when it's crunch time, you might only have seconds to act. There are two very important steps in this unfortunate situation. As soon as the car makes contact with the water, unfasten your seatbelt and roll down the window as fast as you can. Once you've done that, immediately vacate the car through the open window before the vehicle becomes submerged. And that's basically it if there are no unexpected problems. Remember that you'll only have about a minute to complete these two steps before the car sinks completely underwater. Do not waste time trying to open the door. It simply will not budge because of the force of the water pressing on it from the outside. Memorize the sequence. Unfasten the seatbelt, lower the window, climb out of the car. It's your only chance of survival. A crank window will give you the best means of escape. But here's a promising fact. According to test results, a car's electronics continue to function for at least 10 minutes after it becomes submerged. So, if you have power windows, you can still get out. Now, let's look at some possible hiccups you might encounter. If you can't get the window to roll down, break it. The quicker you react, the better. Don't even try breaking the windshield. It's made of extra strong, crash-resistant triplex safety glass. There are actually tons of online shops that offer special car window braking tools at affordable prices, so just look it up on the internet, buy one, and keep it in your car. Another option is to use some heavy object with a pointed tip like a hammer, wrench, or heavy screwdriver. If you don't have any of these, you can use a stiletto heel or simply your elbow. If your car seats have removable headrests, you can also use the metal prongs at the end of those. Aim your blows at the corners of the window where the glass is weaker. If there are children in the car, make sure to shove them out ahead of yourself. In fact, experts recommend the following plan of action. First, unbuckle your seatbelt and lower your window. Only after your window is open should you help your children. In the case of just one child, unfasten their seatbelt and push them out ahead of you. If there are several children, help them from oldest to youngest. Once you've gotten your kids out, leave the car yourself. Older children are first since they can potentially help the younger ones. That way, everybody gets out safely. If you absolutely can't get out through the window, wait until the car fills completely with water and then open the door. It seems like the craziest and scariest thing ever, but it works. Waiting for some time will allow the pressure inside and outside the car to equalize. Experts recommend keeping a firm grip on the door handle while the water fills the inside. When the inside and outside pressures equal out, take a deep breath of the last bit of air, open the door, and swim out. Remember that the door will not open easily. You may have to push it with your feet, so be ready for that. Follow the air bubbles to find your way to the surface. When you've successfully gotten out of your car, you can easily become disoriented underwater. This is because the water around the sinking car gets murky and clouded. It could also simply be due to pure fear and panic. To find your way out, swim in the same direction as the rising air bubbles. They will lead you to the surface. Now, let's go through the two-step survival plan once again. As soon as the car hits the water, unfasten your seatbelt, roll down or break the window, and get out as quickly as you can. Let's hope that you'll never actually have to put the knowledge to use, but it's always better to be safe than sorry, isn't it? So do you know any other tips on how to deal with an extreme situation like a sinking car? Tell us in the comments section below. Don't forget to give us a thumbs up, share this video with your friends, and subscribe to our channel. That way you'll always stay up to date on the bright side of life.